Um, so I'm the PI on the Sanding Out the River project. And what we were interested in doing here is looking at the uh, mobilization and transport of bed load in rivers. This is the coarse material uh, that sits within rivers. And the, the, this figure here in the top left that you can see uh, shows river sections around Ballater in Scotland. And you can see that when there were the, the floods there a few years ago in 2015, there was meter scale change in the elevation of the bed and rerouting of the river as a consequence of the flooding. So this is a uh, you know, big epidemic uncertainty for flood modeling. Also, when you transport that material, it poses a risk to uh, infrastructure because you're putting uh, uh, tools into the river so that the river can abrade rapidly. Um, and there are other situations where you might be interested in monitoring this process, uh, such as in uh, Nepal after the earthquake, you might be interested in the fate of, um, uh, of the landslide debris that's been put into rivers and how that might impact agriculture downstream and, uh, and change the, uh, sort of the, sort of, uh, the, the cascading hazard. This, um, the monitoring of bed load has been understudied, and that's because it's very hard to instrument it and monitor it because it's such an erosive environment. And so we're looking to develop um, uh, low cost sensors that could be used to uh, supplement uh, what's, what's it, it already exists at stream gauge stations or could be deployed uh, along in regions of interest. Um, and so we've got sort of this figure here shows some of our trials of this, where we've got this sensor in this box, which would be uh, buried. We've got uh, so a box up here which houses uh, the electronics. I've put a hardware block diagram in the bottom where the, 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 the section on the left shows the geophone and accelerometers so housed in the, this enclosure here. We've got a box which has got a Raspberry Pi um, 3G, uh, 4G dongle for telemetry and data, GPS for timing uh, and, and solar uh, controlling in there as well. We are telemetry, uh, sort of two streams of data back. We've got uh, from the charge controller, we're telemetry in the state of the battery and putting that onto a dashboard so that we know if our sensor, if our stations are working and where they're working and so we can respond if there are outages. Um, and then we're also streaming the, uh, the data from the sensors uh, back for analysis. At the moment, we're in the stage where we're, uh, you know, the amount with, we're streaming back as much data as we can at the moment because we're still in the research phase of working out um, exactly the, the, the data that's required uh, to monitor uh, these systems. Um, and, but we anticipate a streamlining of that so that we would have lower data uh, usage requirements uh, later on. The place where we're uh, trialling this is in Glenfeshie in Scotland, which is a classic bed load dominated river that's been studied for uh, years by Glasgow University from uh, drone data, photogra uh, photographs of uh, how the river is evolving. And you can see here a section of the Feshi flowing from south to north. The width of these braided sections is the order of uh, 200 metres wide in places. And we're going to be monitoring up through this region where we're going from a broad region into a more channelised region. And we're using this to prove the, uh, the science of what we're measuring with these sensors so that we can then be deploying them with confidence uh, for monitoring uh, bed load in at stream gauge stations and other areas. Looking forward, my aspiration would be that we, uh, you know, once we, we have this, uh, the technology working and we're happy with that, that it's something that we could use to augment what's already deployed as existing stream gauge stations where bed load transport is, um, is a, a, a factor there. Um, I'd be interested in using these sensors to monitor stretches of rivers where uh, interventions have, have been going on for flood works and similar. Um, and also we're working with a project partner out in Nepal who manages stream gauge stations out there and is looking at evolving flood risk and the impacts of uh, bed load on uh, farmland in mountain environments.